Meanwhile, here in southern New England, many communities are also taking some extra precautions. Wound Socket, for example, says it's establishing a special emergency operations center to deal with any possible outbreak. And now we're getting a firsthand look at how another community is preparing. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russell has the details on the local response from the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom in Fairhaven. Starting now, the Fairhaven Police and Fire Departments will be wearing protective gear when they respond to calls for people with flu-like symptoms, all as this Ebola outbreak continues. All the suits are going to be carried on the ambulance. Sergeant Kevin Cobza with the Fairhaven Police Department says since the flu and Ebola have common symptoms, they're being cautious. We didn't want to take any chances on possibly exposing some of our first responders. If somebody does see a firefighter or police officer wearing this gown, what should go through their mind? Uh, don't panic. Just be uh, understand that the first responders are just preparing themselves. The two departments have 100 suits split up into two categories, high-level and low-level suits. We had the chance to try on one of their low-level suits. It costs about $2 a pop. Tell me what we have right here. This is a standard isolation gown that you will find in any emergency room. And just to give you an idea of how long this gown goes, it's going right away down to my kneecap. Next, we go mask, gloves, and finally glasses. And that's it. That's it. Are you the only fire department and police department in this area that's providing this kind of service? Absolutely not. We had a meeting today at the local hospital, St. Luke's, with our regional partners, uh, New Bedford and the Cushionet. They are also in preparation mode, and they're going to be following the same suit that we are. Again, we want to mention that Fairhaven Police and Fire are urging people not to panic if they do see these protective suits out on the streets. They are also mentioning that people at home should get their flu shots. In Fairhaven with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.